delegation from the Low Car Re project, Low Carbon Economy Regions, visited Vestra Jutland. They came to see if electric vehicles could be a part of the solution to the problem of greenhouse gases from road transport. This is a key problem, common to all regions in Europe, and a problem also in Sweden, where road transports are the single most significant source of such emissions. Participants came from southern Denmark, Zealand in the Netherlands, and Emilia Romagna in Italy. Most of the study visit took place at Lindholmen Science Park, near the center of Gothenburg. Okay, so we talk about business model then. Uh, because uh, who wants to buy it? Uh, it's expensive, as you said, and it has its limitations today. If you compare it to, for example, the music scene uh, some 20 years ago or 30 years ago, uh, it was very important that you bought your records and you had them at home and you could hold the LP albums. Some of us are old enough to know uh, what LPs are. Uh, then we were, there were CDs, and uh, that's for most of us. And then now, of course, we, we don't need that anymore because we have Spotify. Uh, and this concept is sort of the same thing. It's sort of a Spotify for cars. Why, why do you have to own it? You can actually just, if, as long as you can access it uh, easily. A lot of countries right now, they are saying, we are preparing for electric vehicles. And what do they do? They build charge posts. That's what they do, because then the more we have, the better we are. Uh, and that's very expensive. Uh, and actually, with this concept uh, of Elvis, you don't really need that many of those. Uh, you may need a few, but uh, because uh, in the city, as we talked about in the previous concept here, it could be good to have. But uh, with this concept, you can plug your car into the wall and it charges. And it's, uh, it takes care of the billing and everything else for you. It knows where it is, it will send you the bill. Researchers gave examples of solutions to modern transport needs, all based on electric vehicles. Trolley buses are a well-known site in many cities, but they have their limitations. They are not flexible and you need to build special infrastructure for them. But if you already have a tram line, then a trolley bus with a hybrid engine could use the electric power of the tram line whenever suitable and travel on the bus's own hybrid engine when it needs to leave the tram track. This is the idea that we came up with. This is how it could look like. Uh, we have a pantograph like on a regular tram that we uh, put on the bus. And uh, we need some, uh, since the energy goes from up here and down to the rails, we need some kind of connection to the rails for the bus as well. And um, it needs to be adapted somewhat, somehow, somewhat because uh, the bus will not follow the rail exactly the way that a tram does. It uh, needs to be a bit more, more flexible, this uh, pantograph, but also the current return arms. But where should the electricity for vehicles come from? It's important that the energy sources for electric vehicles are renewable and do not contribute to increased climate change. And what we are seeing here is the Gothenburg Wind Lab. It's not only the wind turbine, but also the buildings underneath that are combined here. This being the Gothenburg Wind Lab. Uh, it's, the door, it's our own test area for sustainable energy technology. And we have we built the largest wind turbine currently in Sweden. While we are using this uh, wind turbine to learn more about the sustainable energy technology, it also generates green uh, energy. About 15 gigawatts hours per year is uh, this plant uh, same thing to be produced and also uh, we'll be keeping 7,500 electric cars rolling for 10,000 kilometers. There are a lot of different differences between uh, the, the, the cities. Um, in Holland the, the problem uh, and the solution by, by e-cars is the, the air quality. We've got problems to, to match the, the, the quality standards of, our, of the air in our cities. So. That's, that's a lot different in, in, in Sweden because you've got really clean air, you've got big spaces, you don't have the problems we have. Too much people, too much traffic on a too small place. At Lindholmen Science Park, 
Research institutes work closely with industry and the public sector. The project Test Site Sweden offers exclusive testing facilities for car manufacturers. And Test Site Sweden is a good example of a triple helix program. Uh, it is an um, initiative to uh, engage the, the Swedish vehicle cluster in cooperation projects around demonstration and test. And we have been running since 2007. And we are funded from Vinova, but also from uh, the Västra Götalands region. There is a very intense uh, dialogue now with the car vehicle manufacturers about uh, test and demonstration sites for uh, electrical roads, where you continuously feed electricity to, to the trucks. What I've learned is that we're still at the beginning of, of e-mobility. That, that, that's the, the main conclusion that I've learned about it. Yes. And we have a lot to go, but uh, a lot of good work is done here already. It's, it's been very inspiring to see what uh, the Mr. Jutland uh, is doing to uh, improve and innovate in the electromobility. And, uh, I think it's um, what's different from our region is that there are some very big companies here that uh, I suppose are the front runners here and really can uh, make it different in many of the projects. There are many prototypes, but uh, this is one of the prototypes, mm -hmm. and it uh, will be used by um, the city of Gothenburg. It's nice. Uh, this is. Uh, a little bit strange, the, the large uh, steering wheel, but uh, it's nice to do. And uh, uh, unfortunate, fortunately, uh, you're sitting uh, uh, with a roof over your head, so that's also nice. Oh, it's very easy. Very easy and very silent, uh, actually. So, it seems to be natural. You really work a lot with electromobility here in Göteborg. I think you you also have uh, an industry which uh, has uh, many uh, opportunities in this new market. So, so I think you you have a big expertise and you you are building out now your expertise in in the electromobility uh, sector. And I hope you you get a, a good industrial position in the future also, especially with your heavy-duty vehicles.